So now that Halloween is out the way, we still have two major holidays left in 2019 and only about 35 shopping days left before Christmas. So I want to recap some tips with you guys on how to stay on your budget for the rest of this year, as well as not going to debt this holiday shopping season. So let's not blow all of the progress that we made in 2019 on shopping for Christmas gifts or giving during the Christmas holiday. So I want to go over some tips that will keep you on track all the way through 2019 into 2020 with your budget and your spending habits through the holidays. So the first tip is be sure to plan ahead. Before you go shopping, before you go buy gifts, plan ahead. Make a list of the people you wanna buy a gift for. Plan how much money you wanna spend on each person and also make sure that you set a number, set a amount of money that you're gonna spend before you go shopping. Also, do your research. Guys, it does not hurt to look online check at several stores look for where the sales are going to be at sign up for coupons or discounts things that are going to help you cut back on the amount of money that you spend and make the set amount of money that you plan on spending go as far as it can go another great um, tip is if you have a large family maybe you want to consider doing a secret santa or maybe you want to set a specific dollar amount that each person will spend on each other so that people don't feel pressured to spend a lot of money or for those that don't have a lot of money to spend they may not be able to afford to buy everybody a gift by doing a secret Santa gift giving, it cuts down on the cost that you're spending on the holidays on buying gifts. Also, remember, do not go into debt giving Christmas gifts. If you guys are gonna use credit cards, just remember that credit cards are not free money. Make sure that you don't overspend on your credit cards. You still need to set a number. And when we use credit cards, Credit cards are just like spending money, but instead we're putting it on our credit card and you should definitely be paying that money off each and every single month. We do not want to pay interest on Christmas gifts. We do not want to take that 10 or $20 gift and make it cost $50 because we paid a whole bunch of interest on a credit card bill where we charge those Christmas gifts at. So just make sure that you're sticking to your budget, you're not going into debt, you're planning ahead, and you're researching to get the best price on those Christmas gifts. Last but not least, guys, the holidays are about giving. You don't only have to give gifts. You can give love, you can give beautiful greeting cards, you can even offer to maybe do some type of task or chore for someone. Maybe you can help clean up around uh, an elderly person's house in the family. Or maybe you can offer to do some yard work for them. Or even, you know, give them a ride to the store. Gift cards are another amazing way um, to give gifts. So maybe you can buy, you know, some $10 or $15 coffee gift cards. You know, there's a lot of things that you can do around the holiday to be a awesome gift giver that does not require you go in debt. You just have to think outside the box, plan ahead, stick to your budget, and make sure that what you're doing is suitable for what you can afford and also what works best for you. If you have office Christmas parties that you have to attend or go to, 
or maybe you guys have a secret Santa gift giving um, event at your office be sure to factor those things into your budget any money that you have to spend on food traveling things like that be sure to also factor those things into your budget but as we're going into the new year as we're going into 2020 we do not want to lose all the progress that we've made in 2019 in this next 36 shopping days before christmas i hope this helps you out if you guys enjoy this content please be sure to follow me on all my social media sites also make sure that if you haven't yet please go subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much you guys have an amazing day i am marie brown and make sure that you keep your minds in motion